happy Tuesday. Welcome to the new vlog. Um, I'm outside today because I figured I would show you guys, sorry it's so bright, I figured I would show you guys the uh, patio garden. We haven't showed it to you guys in a while and I'll um, get you a little updated with our worms. Um, but this is what we've got going on. Things are really growing. Um, we just bought these cages today for our tomatoes. And everything's wet, by the way, because I just watered them. But um, the tomatoes are doing good. They've got a few flowers on them. Um, and I've been giving them lots of water. And I also have been fertilizing them. Because knowing that they're in pots here, I have to make sure that they are continually fertilized. Um, probably a little bit more than you would if it was a normal garden because they would have more dirt and whatnot but they'll use up all of the for the nutrients in that dirt so I have to continue to fertilize them these here oh and this is a tomato as well over here by the way they've got some flowers too um, and then these here are cucumbers so I think that they're doing good I mean they have not really grown a whole lot I mean tall wise like these tomato plants used to only be like this tall and they've just really gone um, but these cucumbers have been taking a while um, they're still happy and green and I continue to water them but they're just kind of small right now and then up here we have onions um, which I need to thin out I think um, again don't really know we've got two rows here so you can see this row is a lot thinner and then this row um, and I think I need to thin some out so they have some more room to grow uh, definitely on this further row here and over here we have um, strawberries and they're looking good we have a few that are just starting to turn red um, and they're doing good I think I might have planted them too close together I put three strawberry plants and I probably should have put two but that's all right and then we get this rogue one just going wild down here I don't know what to do with him but I'm just letting him do his thing um, and then over here we have carrots they're squished because I just watered them um, and they are also kind of thick and I will be thinning them out here soon taking some clippers and making them so there's not so many so the carrots have more room in the dark to grow really big so that is our current garden situation. We also have this red potted plant up here that's been doing good. I need to go through and pick off some of the dead spots, but he's been doing good. And then over here we have the wormies. And ooh, it's kinda hot today. So I don't know how they're doing. I'm just now checking on them. But you put um, paper on top, which we try to keep more moist, but it's been so hot lately. Um, the dirt itself is pretty moist, um, and it's doing good. That's actually what we have. Let me grab it. We have this thing. I stuck it into my tomato plant to check it. But this is supposed to stay in here to check and let us know the temperature and the moisture um, and let us know how the dirt is doing for the worms. So this is the, what they look like in there. Um, don't really want to go digging around right now and find any, but they're doing good. We just dug some up yesterday and checked on them. They're fine. Um, all this over here is some more food we need to put in there. We're putting food in the corners. And um, for those of you wondering, I know my mom questioned this, but it does not stink at all. Like even when I take the lid off, it doesn't stink because we're only putting in the amount of food that the worms will eat. So we shouldn't have any food getting rotten or gross. So everything that's in there doesn't stink because the worms will take care of it before there or it'll decompose into the dirt with, with the worms help and it never gets a chance to stink. So it's good. Um, we have brought it into the house. A few times I last week so this week is boiling it's like 85 out right now but last week it got really cold like down to the 30s um, low 30s so we brought the worms in for the night didn't stink up the house or anything like that so everything is doing good worms are good garden is good I just wanted to give you guys an update because it's been a little while since we showed you out there <laughs>
So we've been um, running a lot lately. I wouldn't say a lot, but we just have been getting out and moving, which is great. Um, if any of my family or friends, I mean, you guys all know, I ran in um, all throughout high school and middle school competitively, very competitively, I would say. But ever since then, I've really been struggling to run again. I mean, it's really hard when all of your running career, all you've ever done is compete and push yourself and go for times and try to be first and all of this stuff. And then when you can run without that, um, it's easy just to stop and to quit. And it's like, why do I have to keep doing this? And that's kind of what I did. Um, but Trevor and I have been doing it again and it feels really nice. And my mindset going into this has been completely different. Like, we move for fun. We go out and run because we want to. If we are tired, we push ourselves, but we don't like exhaust ourselves necessarily. Um, like right now, I only wanted to do one lap. Um, Sky and I can only make it about one. Um, and Trevor was feeling really good, so he's going to do another. But I don't know, it's just been a completely different running experience, and I really like it. Hi, you see him? He's coming. He's down there. I see him. <laughs> from a trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, I will show you what we got from there in a minute. But right now we are making lunch and prepping for dinner. So for dinner today, Trevor is going to have chicken, shredded chicken. Um, so his recipe is to put it in the crock pot, um, some diced tomatoes, black beans, and corn. And then um, we're gonna, he's gonna make that into tacos. So then I'm gonna have refried beans, black olives, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, all this stuff for tacos. We're just getting that prepped for dinner tonight. Um, but for lunch today, what are you having for lunch? You. What are you having for lunch? Um, hamburgers. Oh yeah, leftover hamburgers. And I am making um, some corn for probably both of us, but he probably won't eat any. Um, and then Morning Stars has hickory barbecue riblets. Um, vegetarian so I never had these before and we're gonna give them a try for lunch today okay and guys I wanted to show you um, what we got from Hobby Lobby for Trevor's t-shirt quilt that I'm making so um, this is what my grandma got me for Christmas as well as this little t-shirt uh, pattern cutter thing um, and some um, interfacing and a pressing cloth so she got me all this stuff for Christmas knowing that I wanted to make Trevor a t-shirt quilt and I'm just now getting around to doing this so this is my grandma's sewing machine she let me take it um, and use it which was very nice of her um, but the stuff I got was this cutting mat and here's the rotary cutter so we can cut all the t-shirts out I got some bobbins because I wasn't sure if my grandma had one in the machine, but she does, but it's okay. Extra bobbins, um, a pin cushion, and some pens, these are super cute. Um, some pencils for marking, so I know where to cut. I got this little cute little case because obviously I didn't have anything, and rather than buying them all individually, this was so cute, so I got a seam gauge and some little scissors. Um, a ripper, measuring tape, these are threads that I'll probably like never use, but, and then I'm not entirely sure what this is, and a thimble, which I'll never use either, but this was super cute, so I got that. Um, I got this for when I'm cutting out the t-shirts, or it's in plastic, so it's like sliding and doesn't want me to grab it, whatever, it can stay there. Um, some hand sewing needles, some super cute scissors, and then... For his quilt, we got a whole bunch of different thread, because I just told him to pick whatever. So, <laughs> we've got thread. Um, this is going to be, I believe, the back and the outer border of the quilt. Um, and then these, it's taped on. These are going to be for some of the squares. So we've got a red little pattern. Um, this is going to be some more squares. Um, which is going to be fun to work with because it's directional. 
but it's all right. Um, we got this is going to be the um, inner border, I believe, and maybe some squares. This is going to be some squares. This cute yellow, which will match like the little Jayhawk here. So cute. Um, and then <laughs> Trevor wanted to pick out some specialty fabric, which will be some more squares. Um, so this is like, I don't know what this material would be called. But it's what you would make like a superhero cape out of or a Halloween costume out of. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard to work with. It's not that stretchy. It's a little slippery. Um, but that'll be fun. I've sewn with harder fabric, so <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> but he wanted something fun like that. So that's all the extra stuff. And then I think I already showed you guys, but these are all the t-shirts he picked out. Um, so now I just got to get cutting and get sewing. But for right now, I am trying to organize everything. I have these little bins. Which I'm just going to put some stuff in there and get this space a little organized so that way I can sew here. This is my, by the way, I don't know if I've told you guys this. So this is our game room. Um, we've got all of our gaming stuff over there. Um, but then this little desk in this little area is like mine. This is my craft area. So over here I have all the stuff I use for journaling, um, all my markers and everything like that, scrapbooking stuff, all that. And then this half here, so I have two chairs. I have that one, which is from the kitchen, and then I have this one. Um, and then this half here is going to be for sewing. So this is my, my little craft area. But yeah, so now I can get started on the quilt. I'll probably do that later today.